Hey everyone, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing a video of the Hampton Bay Carriage House 2 ceiling fan. It's now in my collection, and even better, it finally works because I replaced the capacitor. So, the back story behind this ceiling fan is I got this ceiling fan from my great-grandma, <clears throat> and she wanted to replace it, obviously because it didn't work anymore. And, um, <clears throat> yeah. But anyways, this thing had a blown capacitor. It hasn't been around for six years, and it's finally starting up now. And really happy to see this fan run again. I miss seeing it not run, but I'm just very happy it runs again. So, yeah. These are very big childhood fans for me because she has two of them in, a ha in her house, plus the Hunter Passport 1, which is upstairs. So, yeah, I lost the original pull chain, so I put these on. And I think they look better than the cheap um, plastic Hampton Bay poles. So, um, yeah, here it is. This fan is still being manufactured today, but you have to go on the Home Depot website and buy it there. You can't buy it in store. But, unfortunately, they discontinued the few models because there's the white and brass ones, the oil or bronze ones, and the um, brushed nickel ones, and the all brass ones. <clears throat> They do not manufacture the uh, white and brass ones and the oil or bronze ones anymore. Those are discontinued. For example, this one. So, yeah. Here's um, all the lights. And I figured I'd install this in my grandparents' laundry room since it has good lighting. And there's the Hampton Bay logo. But I'm thinking someone replaced the chain. Probably my grandpa because it probably broke. Because as you can see... That pull chain is um, bronze, and this one is gold, so you can tell. So yeah, all right, let's do me, I mean low. This fan is a little bit saggy, so you can tell, but it's no big deal. This thing has been sitting for the longest time, just rotting away on the ceiling, because no one used it, since it didn't work. And as you can see on the screen right now, Here's a picture of the capacitor. It was just bulging. It was like swelled. It was swelled up and then there's a piece of the capacitor inside the capacitor where all like the mechanics and stuff are. That was blown up. And as you can see, a piece of it was sticking out, which was not good at all. So yeah, but it's no big deal. I fixed it. All right, medium now. These are always pretty fans. These are pretty fans. I always liked them. And even though they might just be a cheap Hampton Bay, I really like them. I like the Carriage House 2s and stuff. And you may say this fan's cheap. It's far from cheap. That's all I gotta say. Because this uh, Carriage House, this is actually like one of the earlier ones. And this one is from 2004. This is the better quality ones. People say they buzz and they scrape their motor housings. Not this one. This one's actually pretty good. This one runs amazing. And as you can tell, oh, it wobbles on them with the defect. That's why they're bad. Nope. The box in the, the ceiling outlet box was not installed that well in this house. So that's, that's why it wobbles. Every ceiling fan I put up here wobbled, but... When I tested them on the test box in my room, um, over there, as you know, my bedroom, um, yeah, it didn't wobble, so yeah. And my grandparents always wanted a fan with good lighting, and they really liked this fan, which I'm really happy about. All right, and off. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See y'all later. Bye-bye.